Walmart started it. Now we can't stop it. I have been reporting on Walmart and Sam's Club and a lot of different retailers for quite a long time now. And what I've been finding out is through some investigating that there is a lot of stuff that's behind the scenes that I'm going to bring to you today that I'm going to show you exactly where you can go to get all this information. All the different websites and everything else, you're going to see those firsthand. We're going to see what's taking place with Amazon and Walmart and how you can go on and you can do your own research and see what companies are importing what goods and how much and what is actually taking place and why is China buying up so much of our land and how much is that land that they're buying up there is a ton of it that i'm going to disclose to you today for a lot of people just didn't know so welcome back to survival preparedness for beginners and i hope everybody out there is doing fine on this sunday this is going to be a very great video for you on what has really taken place where all the goods are coming from and why you just can't get anything in america anymore even if it does show that it is being imported or it's coming from America and stuff, more than likely it is coming from China. So let's get going on this video today. What is taking place? Who's losing jobs? And who's buying property? And how much is being imported per the manifests that you are going to see? All right, folks, we're going to start right here. Walmart wants to be Amazon, and it's causing people to lose their jobs left and right. There's more layoffs and stuff coming through Walmart. Um, they're going to more robotics, and the company is trying to shift the way that it is running. Uh, Walmart super centers, they are trying to keep all those open. Anything that is not making a profit, if a store has been losing money or not meeting their requirements on how much money they're supposed to be bringing in, they are closing those stores. They are upping the other super centers that are making the money. They're pushing the goods to those stores. So if you start to see in your local area what's going on and you start noticing that they're well, there's just not a lot of product in there. There could be a good chance that that store is going to be flagged to be closed sometime in the near future, especially with the recession and the high interest rates that are still to come and everything else, the cost of operating these stores, they're going to be closing these. Walmart is also laying off another 1,500 employees in different parts of the country. And what they are doing, folks, is they have to start cutting back. They want to make sure that they can show that profit that they're guaranteeing their shareholders at the end of the year. Now, they had to reduce the amount and cancel orders coming in from China, which has really hurt their bottom line. And it's putting a huge strain in China. A lot of the ports and everything else are all of a sudden now not really backlogged there's not a lot of stuff coming in and we still have this whole looming thing with what is taking place with the railroad and if they're going to be striking this coming month in november they haven't settled on an agreement yet and that could be filtering into every company that is out there because no matter where you go walmart started all this with this importing from china and now every company out there is doing it. So you want to say you want to boycott Walmart? Well, you might as well boycott every store that's out there. I don't care if it's Target, Amazon. I don't care if it's Costco, if it's BJ's, if it's Macy's, if whatever company it is, most of these goods are coming in from China and overseas. We're not making anything here anymore. We're not mass producing the things and the goods that we need in this country. We have to bring those in, import all those things in, and I'm going to show you here in a minute exactly what I am talking about. Amazon engages in cutting more jobs as the economy crisis worsens. Jeff Bezos did issue a warning here this past week, and he was talking about 
with the recession and with the interest rates going up and everything else that they're going to have to really relook at what the whole business aspect is, their plan and everything else for the future. And they may have to put a lot of different things on hold that they wanted to do. They want bigger distribution centers and put those throughout the country to try to maximize because Amazon's goal is to try to make sure that they are the number one company in the United States. Right now, they're the number two behind Walmart. They want that number one spot, but this recession, that these high interest rates and everything else is going to put them behind the eight ball and they're not too happy about it. So they're having to cut jobs. They're trying to make sure that they can still show those profits to the shareholders, just like what Walmart is doing. And that's where we're headed. Walmart has started this. It's all about the imports and everything else that is taking place. All right. Now you can go to this website right here. And this website right here, if you want to spend the time, this is all the companies that have announced layoffs and cutting jobs. And there are thousands of them, folks. You can sit here, you can go through, you can see what companies are doing this and everything else. Now, these aren't just companies here in the United States. These are companies throughout the world. But you see, it's a global crisis that we are in right now now as you go right on down through you come into this website and i'm going to put all these in the description below so you all can go in and do all your own investigating and everything else now this chart here this is trade economics it hasn't been updated for 2022 because they don't do these until the end of the fiscal year but you can see the imports from china is over 540 billion dollars now when you go down through here here's the interesting part folks and you can go through and you can read and you can see exactly what is being imported you see everything from footwear furniture games machinery electronics um the whole nine yards tools aluminum glass bird feathers and artificial feathers. I mean, you name it, it's being imported. You can see this, it's right here. This is just heartbreak to say here and look at all this kind of stuff. And I'm not gonna go through this whole list and everything else, but you guys can go in here, check that out and everything else. Now, a cool site is, you come to this site right here. Now pay attention folks, because this is really cool. You can get a lot of great information right here. Importyeti.com, all these will be in the description as I did say. You type in any company you want. Walmart, hit enter. It shows you all their different all these different transactions and everything else, these are all imports that are coming in. You can see total shipments, 362,261. You can go in and you can research each one of these companies and you can see where it's coming from. The cool thing is you see these little American flags, American flags, American flags. None of this stuff is coming from American dealers. All right. They're all coming from any type of another shipper. So like you want to know what this one right here is, this is top supplier. So you just take and just go like this, copy this, open up a new tab, go to Google, click on that, paste, enter. Look right over here, folks. It's from China. This is a company out of China. That's all you got to do. And you can go through and you can see that there are just Look how many pages there are. Go to page seven. All right. Here you go. All right. And you can, you can do, you want to do somebody else? Let's do Amazon. And we have the same scenario. It's pretty sad, folks. And you see there's a lot more from Amazon. So as you see, Walmart started this whole process of, of importing all the goods, forcing the American companies to go to China and overseas so that they can produce all these goods at the cheapest price. And now all these other companies are having to jump on the bandwagon to keep up with Walmart if they want to try to compete or overtake Walmart. Will these companies succeed? We just don't know. This is all western brands that are now owned by the chinese this will blow your mind so you want to go to this website and you just start clicking through here and they tell you all these big companies that are now owned 
China bought all these huge companies out. All right, all the information is right here for you guys. Now, what you also have to remember is, you know, China's been buying up all this land. All right, now just Google, you know, when um, if you Google how much land does China own in the United States, they're up to 191,000 acres, and that was before they just bought all that land out in North Dakota not too far from one of our main military bases out there. So this is just something that we really have to pay attention to and that you people need to be aware of. It doesn't matter where you do your shopping. It's coming from China, folks. So for everybody out there that has been commenting on my videos, on my Sunday videos and everything else, and you're always saying, well, you're always talking about Walmart. You're always picking on Walmart. You know, there's a lot of people out there that refuse to shop at Walmart because, you know, they import and there's all this other conspiracy and everything else. When you really sit back and you look at it and you dig into what is going on through all these different things that I have shown you today, you're going to see it's not just Walmart. It's every major American company here that is doing this, that has had to get on the bandwagon because Walmart started it. They forced all their retailers here to leave here, to go to China, to make the products even cheaper so they can import them back in here and sell them at a huge discounted price. Now everybody else is jumping on the same bandwagon because if they don't, they're going to be left behind in the dust of Walmart. And there's a lot of companies that want a piece of that pie. Walmart is having to fight for their existence based on what they created. Quite amazing, isn't it? We'll have to wait and see what the future holds for Walmart and if they can hold their own because other companies are coming for them in the near future. And let's see if they make it. But just so everyone is clear, no matter where you're shopping, no matter what you're buying, a lot of it is all coming from overseas. And there's nothing we can do unless we start making it all here. I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this video today. Hope you all stay safe. Keep prepping. Do your best to try and succeed in trying to find those American-made products. They're few and far between. Catch you all on the flip side.